guys today I'm doing a Rihanna inspired look from a new video where have you been uh, this look is from the section where she is dancing and we get that shot of one of her eyes uh, because she's got something across her face so these are the eyes super crazy not exactly the type of stuff you just wear out um, these are really like dramatic rocker eyes and they will crease so there's nothing you can do about that because we've got eyeliner and then eyeshadow on top uh, a lot of eyeliner inside the eye and then the rest of the face is very neutral very nude uh, we've got quite highlighted cheeks but we haven't got any blusher on we've just got a contour uh, we've got nude lips uh, everything else is really simple it's just these dramatic eyes which I really like if you want to learn how to get this look just keep on watching Okay, so we're going to start with the eyes today because um, we're using black and we don't want too much fallout onto our foundation. So we're just going to start with this white colour here and this is from a beauty quad which I've lost one out of. And I'm just going to take it on a big blending brush like this and just run that under the brow. It doesn't have to be neat, it's not a strict highlight. We just want to pop something under there, that's why I'm using a fluffy blending brush. And then we're just going to take this brown and it's going to just go through the socket line and this is going to be our transition colour with the black because black's a very harsh colour so you want to make it blend into something. So it'll work that from the socket line up to the brow just to give the a colour for the black and the highlight to blend together with. And it's just easier to do this with a fluffy brush because it just blends everything whilst you're applying it like that next we're going to take a black eyeliner um, and we're going to draw the outline of the shape and the shape is very winged quite high up here and then it's just through the crease quite deep underneath so we'll just do that with whatever black eyeliner you want to use um, yeah and just draw the shape Next I'm going to go on my sleep primer palette, I'm just going to use the black to colour it in the inside. Um, you can always just use your eyeliner and carry on colouring it in but I'm just going to use this palette. I'll probably use the eyeliner to get in the you know the deep corners here. But we'll just put that on and it will just work as a base for the eyeshadow. Okay, so taking your favourite black eyeshadow, this is Midnight from Natural Collection and just the shading brush, we're just going to apply that over the top of everywhere we've you know, applied the eyeliner and just blend out the other edges slightly so it's not too harsh and yeah Okay, so you're going to take whatever eyeliner you want. I like to use a gel eyeliner just with a pencil dipped in. Uh, we're going to line the inner rim of our eyes, you know, upper and bottom waterline. And just to make the look more dramatic, obviously. Um, even though it can't get much more dramatic than this. But yeah, we'll just do that now.
Okay, next, obviously, we're going to want to apply uh, colour lashes and apply out some mascara. And then once we've done that, we'll come back and do the foundation and stuff. So just go apply your mascara and we'll come back and do the face. Okay, so I've just moisturised and primed the skin, so we can go straight on with the foundation. And I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, and I'm in NC15. Um, we're just going to squirt a pump of that onto the back of our hand. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques buffing brush, which just looks like that. And I'm just going to buff this into the skin to create an airbrush finish. Okay, so I'm actually going to apply two concealers, just my regular concealer to conceal the under eyes. But then I'm going to use a concealer that's probably about one shade too light for me. Um, and that's going to create a highlighted effect if we put it under here. And, you know, this is a trick that everyone knows of Kim Kardashian doing. Um, but that looks like she's got high, quite highlighted cheekbones. But it does look very matte, which is why I'm using a concealer instead of a highlighter. So we'll just apply these and I'm going to apply them both with my fingers, just tapping them under the eyes to create that highlighted effect. Okay, so I looked at the cheeks and it doesn't look like there's much colour, like this bit here looks like it's just as light as the concealer, but it does look like she's contoured, so we are going to contour the cheeks. Uh, I'm just using this Beautique bronzer on my Real Techniques contour brush, so we just contour the cheeks, bring it up on slightly, just to create like a bronzed effect to the face, uh, but it doesn't look like there's any pink, so we're just going to use the bronzer today. Okay for lips, she's just got a nude lip and I'm going to go in with my Collection 2000 lipstick in the colour, this is so bright I can't even read it, it says birthday suit, um, it's just a nude colour, you don't get more nude than a birthday suit do you? So I'm just tapping this on because this can come on quite heavy and it can gather around the outside of my mouth not pretty so I'm just tapping this on gently just to create a nude lip and all I've got underneath this is lip balm I haven't got any lip liner or anything on you can put lip liner on if you want that's just nuded out the lips nicely and then over that I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this MUA lipstick lip gloss I mean and this is just called nude so just kind of put that on top and lip gloss just plumps up the lips because some of us aren't as lucky to be honest some of us have small lips And that's pretty much it for the look. So, of course, the eyes are super crazy. And then everything else is pretty minimal. You know, there's no blusher, no, no nude lip. So, I think, I hope that's quite simple for you. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.